Today I've come to the North Fork to Martin Cider Farms to find out how these potatoes turn into North Fork chips. This is almost like a salad spinner. I was very excited when my wash machine like 10 years ago died, but it still would spin. So we got in here, took it apart, and we used that for the longest time. That's amazing. And people would come in and they were looking at, is this not a washing machine? And I said, it's a prototype. <laughs> I'm going to hoist these onto the truck and I'll be taking them that back to the plant. Actually, his grandparents, which the picture is fading, but that picture was taken like they were sitting on a little couch right here. Yeah. I'm Carol Sider, uh, co-owner of Martin Sider Farms. And my name is Martin Sider, third generation farmer here in Oregon Road, Manitoc. It's uh, big changes, big changes. I mean, down Oregon Road, I guess you came back with Carol yep. from the chip plant. Okay. Maybe she, I don't mean to bore you, but there were 39 farm families that were settled here with my grandparents in that time frame, turn of the century, 1890 to 1910. And they were uh, either from Ireland or Poland. They were hard workers. Immigrants that came here. Uh, at one time, I think on Long Island, back in the 40s, it was 80,000 acres and we're down to 1,500 acres. So it's just a matter of time. And we're all, you know, on the on uh, you know coming down a mountain and not, uh, not not too much youth involved so we decided to try this so now I do the maintenance for the chips and lately the last three out of four years the price just has not been above profit and that's going to be that's ultimately the, the has the final say well, uh, we learned a lot things that we didn't even know we needed to know <laughs> we're not corporate America where we can drop uh, you know a quarter of a million dollars in advertising but uh, you know we're doing better today than yesterday and hopefully tomorrow will be better than than today